Hiya people, I decided to do a video about the uh, essential tools that I carry um, on the Lambretta. If, you've, uh, if you're a Lambretta owner you know you will be familiar with the, the idea that uh, they do take quite a lot of maintenance, uh, quite a lot of maintaining sorry, and uh, they are fairly prone to breaking down. Unfortunately now and again they do have little problems which can always be ironed out provided you've got the right set of tools and spares with you. So this is what I carry. Um, just a quick little run through. Obviously uh, pliers, you know, snipe nose pliers. Um, Phillips screwdriver. I've got a long flat screwdriver. Um, that's uh, like a driver for the, the sockets, socket set thing. Uh, a normal flat headed screwdriver. Um, mole grips always useful um, if you need to clamp something in place whilst you do something else. Uh, got the socket wrench and the sockets, which you're going to be using fairly uh, fairly often for most to uh, most tasks. Extension bar, um, a nice good quality um, little um, adjustable spanner. Obviously, you know what that's for. Um, these are my circlip pliers. Sounds like someone's out on their bike. Um, the circlip pliers, which are dropping to pieces in front of us, but they're all here because there's a fair few circlips on the Lambretta just to hold things in place. Not everyone carries them with them, so it's nice to have them. Um, and there's obviously the this is the plug spanner, and I've got a 13 mil spanner, which is the size that I use for the. Uh, attaching the exhaust so in case that comes loose. Uh, an 11mm, I can't remember why, why I carry that uh, that one specifically but it does have some use. So they're the tools that, uh, you know, with, with those on board you should be able to do pretty much any task that I can kind of think of um, on a Lambretta. You, you could strip the entire barrel and piston and remove everything and rebuild it the side of the road. You could take the crankcase to pieces. You could you could pretty much do um, anything that'll need repairing, um, you know, within reason with these tools, particularly with the, with having the circular pliers on board. Right. So further to that, I uh, excuse me. I carry a little. This is just one of those old one of those um, sweet tea uh, sweet tin things. You know the car sweets, but they're just right for carrying your spare cables which you will need if you do any sort of realistic mileage uh, on a scooter as I do I mean I use mine for work uh, I use it for everything I don't have a car I've just got the Lambretta um, so you've got your cables and so you can use I mean the cables can double up to different uh, different uses you've got uh, your clutch there's a clutch cable there's gear up gear down cables separately uh, front brake cable and back brake cable and uh, accelerator. So you can use pretty much any of them <coughs> for any of the jobs. Especially if you've got these on board as well. This is called a trunnion. And this is just like a cl uh, like a nipple uh, clamp thing. But it is, that's what it is. So you can put your, your cable through and just tighten that up with your little allen key. And you can use these pretty much anywhere on the Lambretta. Uh, and in an emergency, you know, you do what you can to get yourself home. You can always, you can always do a better repair when you get back. It's just getting home that's the main thing, isn't it? Um, there's a little bag of spare circlips. Go nicely with the the pliers that we've obviously got. Um, little tiny, uh, yeah, little tiny uh, spanner I've got there for. That's just the right size for the trunnions, you see. So I carry that with me as well. Um, spare spark plug, which can get you out of shit and that's about it just a few random nuts and bolts and things that I've just sort of picked up another big trunnion thing so that's it really just little bits like that um, then after that really all I'll, the only other thing I carry is this which is a, a prop stand for the back if you need to change the back wheel you can put this into the side of the engine on the other side and sort of put your foot on it and lift lift the scooter back and it lifts up into the air so you can change your back wheel but if you haven't got one of them you can always just sort of park the scooter at the side of a, uh, at the side of the curb or something you know what I mean so it's hanging off um, and make sure you've got obviously some weight at the front to keep it there but better to use the proper tool 
Uh, and then lastly, the obvious things I carry in on board for the uh, for the running of the scooter. This is the two-stroke oil, and this is my measuring jug. So I use this is semi-synthetic um, two-stroke that I'm using at the minute, which should be all right. It's been all right, so I'm sticking with it. Um, so I put one and a half full jugs in to five litres of fuel. I can't remember what that ratio would work out at exactly, but that's how you do it. So, I mean, you're stuck without that. They do sell it at garages if you if you really do, you know, run out, but you're better off just getting a load. I've got a big bottle uh, in the garage and I just fill that up and take that with me. And that's enough for like three or four um, f uh, fill-ups. And I get about 50, 60 miles to gallon on the scooter. So, you know, you can get a long way with just a, a bottle of oil and a bit of cash. So that's it, really. Um... Just wanted to show you that, just to give you a little, you know, a little tip. Perhaps uh, you don't have all of these tools on board, but everything that's on board that I carry has been used uh, at the side of the road with me, so I haven't needed anything. I, and I've never got to the point where I've just been completely stuck for something. So that's it. If you're a Lambretta owner, get to grips with the, you know, the the basic repairs and maintenance that you're going to need to be doing. Carry, carry a nice toolkit like this with you and you should be good to go. So that's it. Thanks for watching the vid and subscribe to the channel if you like Lambrettas and stuff because I'm going to be doing more vids uh, in the future. Right, thanks for watching guys. Uh, take it easy and I'll see you later.